Good day everybody here on Hester's Motorsports YouTube channel. This is John Hester. I'm here at Hester's Motorsports here in Raton, New Mexico. Our number is 575-445-3558. Here in uh, good old Raton, New Mexico. Normally I'd be doing these outside, but it's, you know, we got some snow this week. It's cold. Don't really feel like being out in the cold doing this. <laughs> I freeze my butt off. So here is a U Force 1000 from CF Moto. These are really nice machines. Very, very popular for us. Been a great, great company to work with. They've been in business for over 30 years. Um, can't speak highly enough about them. I mean, they're a great company. They stand behind their product really well, make some really nice, impressive machines. This one here, the U Force 1000, the U Force stands for Utility Class Vehicle, but it's still kind of a Good recreation vehicle. This one here, we took a camouflage one and built one of our Hester editions for. And this one is already sold, but uh, wanted to get it all up on video and everything to show it off. So what we did is we put a Super ATV 2-inch suspension lift on this. Kept the stock wheels, the stock black wheels, and went with a 30-inch. So this is a 30-10-14. Moto Claw. This is my absolute favorite tire. It is a really, really good everything tire. It's great off-road. It's got great traction. Lots of edging, so it's great in rocks. Good in snow, good in mud. Not a mud bogging tire, but pretty much most of all the mud that you're going to carry through. I mean, it's just going to really rip it up. Loads of sidewall protection. You know, good grip. Be able to get in those ruts and just pull right out of ruts really nice and easy. These U Force 1000s, they've got you know hydraulic disc brakes front and rear, so you got very good stopping power, really smooth suspension. They come right from the factory with a high clearance arched arms on them, which is pretty slick. Automatically come with a winch, two inch receiver hitch in the front that's easily detachable. You just got four bolts and you can unbolt that from the main chassis. This one, we also did a full windshield front and rear, and it's got the slide vents on it. And we also did a boss, uh, the customer wanted a little sound bar, so we got a, a boss four speaker sound bar in there, really slick setup. I know it's kind of dark up in here, see if my phone will lighten up a little bit. There we go, be able to show that. And it's also got the dome lights underneath there, which is really slick. You can see the little dome lights right there on each side. Pretty slick. Added in the half steel door. So you have a really nice half steel door and it curves out. So it keeps plenty of room in around you. Really nice setup, big suicide setup. So you can set this up, fit in there really comfortably. It's a three passenger vehicle. Got loads of storage, you know, actually it comes with a storage box underneath here that you can pull out like a toolbox, glove box here. You got all kinds of little storage up underneath here. Tilt steering, I mean, everything is pretty well, uh, pretty well set up on this thing. And uh, there's the rear window there. Kind of fits all up in there. Really slick ride. These here, it's a 1,000cc V-twin. Uh, the U-Force 1000 is pretty much the king of power when it comes to the utility market. Let me explain. You look on CF Moto site and it says 79 horsepower, 1,000cc V-twin engine. Then you look on Polaris and they're 83 horsepower. And you're saying, well, how is the U-Force more powerful? Well, let me explain. Polaris rates their vehicles at the crank. CF Moto rates theirs at the wheels. A true horsepower. This is 79 to the ground. So this thing to the wheels is as powerful as the Polaris 1000 at the crank. It is a good running machine. Really nice transmission. It's smooth. It's got awesome engine braking. These have been a, a really nice machine. Good looking. Got good headlights, LED projection style, automotive style headlights. Radiator way up high, keeps it nice and 
clean. You got near, I mean, if we remove the receiver hitch, we'd have a 90 degree approach angle, you know, if we're gonna go out in the steep rocks and stuff. Got really good ground clearance. Right now we're sitting at about 14 inches of ground clearance on this, so it's got a good setup, good ground clearance, good usable ground clearance. These are some nice rides right here. Amazing value for money. I mean, this this machine, well, to give you an idea, this machine completely accessorized is about what a base model Ranger 1000 with absolutely nothing costs. Actually, quite a bit cheaper. Let me rephrase that. Quite a bit cheaper. Completely accessorized. <laughs> yeah, it's... I mean, this, this machine here, as you see it, um, was un under 16 out the door. So in camo, I mean, <laughs> lift, wheels, tires, everything. I mean, it's a nice machine, really nice machine. Just wanted to show off one of our CF Moto setups here. Real easy setup to deal with. Very affordable build. Uh, gives you lots of luxury. The doors protect you really well. I like them so much better than the nets. You have a lot more room to get in and out. Fits really well. So, great setup there. Another look at the sound bar up there. Sounds pretty dang good. I mean, no, it's not no rocking, bass thumping, windshield shaking sound bar. He didn't want that. He's like, just give me a nice sound bar. I can listen to my tunes while driving around. It's it's quite a bit louder than the engine. You know, these aren't really that loud to begin with, but you're sitting there, you're jamming out, you're listening. I mean, I would compare this with an average truck stereo system. So, pretty nice setup on that Boss sound bar up there. It's really clean, up out of the way. Pretty slick setup. Looks really, really good made a big difference on you know it's beefiness you know the doors really make it look nice and we're gonna have to set up another one like this I think I'm gonna do a one of the Athens blue ones kind of like this maybe change the wheels I don't know and there's nothing wrong that's the stock factory wheels nothing wrong with them really nice wheels I'd like to thank everybody for watching be sure, you know, please subscribe to our channel here. We've got lots of different stuff going on. Uh, check out the rest of our playlists. This one here is the CF Moto playlist on here. And uh, do a lot of custom builds on all major manufacturers. And like us, subscribe. Make sure you click that little notification bell. And get you all into, you know, checking out more of our original content and more of our builds that we do. Give you some nice good ideas on parts, accessories, anybody needs anything, you know, wheels, tires, lifts, windshields, stuff like this, let us know. We ship all over the country. Get you a great package set up. I'll move up here and step back a little bit more just so you can see the entire vehicle better. really sharp. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day.